What's up guys? My name is Eros, and this is the Red Rock Realm, and it is time for another adventure here today. We are starting out by our bulk storage system that we made in our last episode, and it is working like a charm. We've got everything set up. I've got it connected to all of our current farms, so we've got tons of watermelons, tons of pumpkins, tons of sugarcane, lots of iron, and plenty of honey as well. So we are looking pretty good as this thing goes along. Uh, ignore the remain the 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 remains of the the creeper blast. It just it snuck up on me while I was working. And anyway. We're just going to walk away from that because today's focus is I want another farm that is going to feed into this. And I was trying to decide on a building to put it in, but I don't think any of these are big enough for what I want to accomplish. And I want it to be kind of right towards the very middle of town here, probably kind of in this area. So I think it's going to have to be underground because this is a big, big farm to accomplish something very, very little. But I really want to do it, so we're going to do it, and that's all there is to it. Today, I want to make a gold farm. Now, I've never made one of these on Bedrock before. I know the basics, and I'm just going to wing it, because why not? That's what we're going to do. We're going to make it work. So I'm going to dig way down here, digging straight down, exactly what you should not do in Minecraft. Take a note. And... Oops. Kind of ran into one of farms hmm let's just go this direction okay and then we'll just do that we'll go ahead and just we'll 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 fix that here in a minute we're gonna go down a little further i think actually yay yeah yeah because yeah, we're gonna need the space I think this is good. This is plenty fine. This will work. It will work. Okay. So we're going to need a lot of space because we are going to do the ticking nether portal design that is very, very common. Like I said, never done one before. I don't entirely know what I'm doing. At least I'm not following any kind of tutorials or anything like that. I'm just going to wing it. So first things first, I know I need to clear out space. I think that's probably good, and then we'll just clear out vertically as much as possible. Sweet! Now we've got all of our space all cleared out and everything, and it was a piece of cake thanks to our beacon. I just went ahead and set it up down there a bit, and a little bit of scaffolding to get up and down, and of course, access to our waterways for some reason in case we need it, I guess. I don't know. Let's just go with it. So now, I'm pretty sure we'll need a little bit more space for the portal itself, because I know that the largest nether portal you can make is 23 by 23, and I'm guessing that probably the bigger the better is probably what we need to do for this portal. So I think we've got it about as wide as it can go. Now thankfully I've got a ton of obsidian in here, and I've also got a ton of stone on me. I spent a while collecting obsidian before today's episode, so that way we didn't have to worry about doing it now. I have no idea if this is going to be enough. It really should be. If this is not enough obsidian, then I'm worried. My guess is probably less than two stacks is enough to make the largest portal possible, but that's okay. Something is better than nothing. I'm not trying to make the most efficient thing in the world, just something so that we have access to gold for the various uses that it has now. Biggest, well, maybe not biggest, one of the biggest reasons is so I can make golden apples for the uh, zombie villager that I have to get discounts. And the other use is, you know, bartering in the nether, because you can get some pretty good stuff from that. Alright, so let's see, if we were to go end to end, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Hmm, I feel like that's probably fine. And then I know that the ceiling goes up to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, 8, 9. Probably should be taller than that. Okay. So if that puts it at 9, then we need to go down a little ways, actually. I should probably go higher, too. Okay. 
yeah, that's probably the smart thing to do, considering 23 by 23 is the largest possible. Probably don't need to go all the way. I'll probably keep it this wide, but I do need to go up by probably 5 and down by 5. I should be able to fit that in this space. Okay, now that we've got it all the way up there and all the way down there, let's, I guess, make sure it lights. Oh, it does. Very nice. Um, oh, wow, that creates a lot of lag from all the particles. All right, now I'm curious where the pigmen are going to spawn. That's going to be the interesting thing. Let me... Oh, that is a noisy thing. Uh, let's see. Do I have a bucket of water? I should have a bucket of water. If I don't have a bucket of water, I think that there's a problem. I guess I need to go get a bucket of water. So let's... Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. So it sounds like they're... Aha! So they're dying right over there. That's where they need to be. Okay. So that's where the kill chamber needs to go. All right, well, that solves... Oh, come on now. Get out. So that solves that. So they need to go over there. I can do that. Let's go ahead and grab a bucket of water, and then we'll dig out the space for the killing chamber. Okay, so if I just do... Okay, so I can't do that. I'll... I have to use a dispenser. Okay. Um... There we go that and then I just need right this this is how you break a portal right I'm pretty sure this is how you break a portal pretty sure this is how you do it ha there we go cool okay so we know that they spawn in right here okay so we need to dig out a little space for the killing chamber. That, we need to go down a couple blocks. Okay. Probably one more, just to be safe. Okay, there's that. And then down here, we're going to have pistons set up for a trident killer. Because, obviously. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, so that'll work. So let's just dig a little space here to put in the redstone portion. We need to be able to get behind all of it. Put a piece of cobblestone where each piston is going to go. There we go. Okay, so that way I can keep track of it. So otherwise, I'm going to lose track, and then I'm going to wire it up wrong, and that's not good. We don't want that. Okay, there's that, 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 and this one, too. Well, we're at it. All this stupid gravel in the way. There we go. Okay, so there is our space set up for... Right in killer. Lovely. Okay, cool. So there's that. That's how that's all gonna work. Oh, this is all gonna work. Okay. So that's gonna be easy to wire up. They should fall right in here into the trident killer as they spawn. So now we just need to put that on a timer and get lava in place for lighting it. And I'm pretty sure that's everything that goes to this. And then an automatic dropper that will send the items up. Yeah. Simple. All right, I think it is time for our official test here. Let me make sure that this is all closed in properly. Got the little kill station set up. I've got a simple collection system set up and the automatic dropper set up just for the test. I wanted to make sure all of that was working so that way we could stand up here out of the way. I don't have the actual like ticking part set up, but Based on how quickly the zombie pigmen were spawning last time, I figured that's fine. So basically, I flip this switch, turns that on, awesome. I flip the switch again, and it deactivates that, 
and then I can easily hook that up to the actual like ticking system part as well. Okay, and then this is where the items should pop up as long as everything works. Should work. Everything should work, right? Right. Right? Let's have some faith, right? I don't know why I'm nervous to try this. It should work. As far as I know, this should work. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Wait, where are they dying? Hold on. Hold on. Where? No, they should be right. They should fall in here. Hold on. What's going on? Why did they not? Where are they? Don't tell me I built this on the wrong side. Hold on. Hold on a second. That's not right. Okay, after much more trial and error, I think I got it fixed. Let's get these in here. This should be working. I've got a water stream on this side, and I raised this up by one block. So like, yeah, it kind of shrinks our portal a little bit, just a little bit. But honestly, if we're doing the zero tick thingy, I don't think it's going to affect it that much. So everything should be working now. I had to rearrange things just a little bit, but it should still all be working. Now we just need to light it and give it a shot. Let's see. That should work. Any piglins that spawn should get carried over into there. And I need to make sure I close up my little access hatch here so that they don't get somewhere they shouldn't be. Okay, there we go. So let's make sure this works. Nope, that's not how I want to do that. That's how I want to do that. Cool, so that works. Let me close this up. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, now to light it, wait for a piglin to spawn, and yeah, I think if that's the case, then we just need to get the, uh, the, the ticking system in place. All right, and tick, once spawned, it is getting carried by the water stream, should fall down here. Huh, might have to delay it slightly in order to make sure that they actually go into there. That seems like it did the trick. Just a small delay on it. Maybe a longer one on this side. The rest of them can be faster, because this is the one where they're going to fall into it. How's that look? Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, that looks like that should work. Alright. Now, as soon as I place this lava bucket, this should be the last thing that we need. We have the... Uh circuit that breaks the portals we've got the part that activates the kill area thing words i know what i'm saying honest i do anyway let's do it let's light this let's make sure it works and really do it ready ready ah, all right so it lit and now if i flip this Oh, look at it go. Oh, yes, look at them. Look at them go. Now we just stand here in the corner, and it should... Actually, no, that's right. I made a special spot down here. Make sure I can actually reach it here. Nope, that's, this is not where I meant to go not where I meant to go. Oh no, whoopsie. Uh, I might have accidentally broke some redstone. Whoopsie, not what I meant to do. Let me just, uh, let me just, uh, uh just grab this redstone really quick, and the sound of all of those very angry pigmen is a little nerve-wracking, not gonna lie. Okay, that should be good. Pretty sure that'll fix it. Pretty sure. And then I should have one of these right 
here. Yes. Where did I meant where did I mean to put this? Oh. Uh uh oh. Oh, uh oh. Uh <laughs> whoops, let me just Oops. Thankfully I don't think any of them can reach me. Though they are definitely trying. Let me do that. And then Hold on. Hold on, I can fix this. I can fix this. There we go. Okay, that should be there. Then I can come here. Nope. 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 Not what I meant to do. Honest, I swear I know what I'm doing. Okay, that goes there. This is the one I meant to break. Now I have to replace this all again. Is it... This one I need to break? This is the one I need to break. And then I put... Okay. See? I got it. I got it figured out. And then I can stand here. This is where I was trying to go. Boy, are they noisy. Let me just fix all of this again. Ooh. They're very unhappy with me. I can't imagine why. <laughs> okay. There we go. This one, this one, this one. This should be where I can stand so I can collect HP from this system because I made this to also be an XP farm so I can stand here nice and safe. Let me just, uh, I need to break the blocks here. There we go. Oh, all right. Now it should be as simple as just doing this, right? There we go. And then if we come down here. Oh, there we go. Wow, that is noisy. It works great though. Can you hear me? Holy cow, that's loud. However, we do have the items coming in, which is phenomenal. Look at this. We got a lot of gold and everything coming in here. Oh, and it's despawning. Oh, no. Oh, well, honestly, I'm not too bothered by it. So, we know that this all works. There's still quite a few of those guys down there. I'm wondering if I... It should... No... I was trying to come up with a way to get the XP to come up here, but it doesn't seem like it wants to cooperate. These guys still seem like they're trying to get at me, which is unfortunate. But uh, either way, I mean, if we need XP, we can just come down here and stand. And we can get the XP quite quickly and easily, which is great. If not, we can just turn it on and just go AFK and get some gold. So now we've got this, we've got the bubbles and everything going, we just gotta get it hooked up to our farm storage and we will be complete. And now we can officially call it done. So we've got more added to our farm storage. We have four of them that don't have anything put in them yet. I moved the iron over here instead of over here. So we've got all of our honey coming into this one. We'll have other stuff going into these ones. Then we'll have our nuggets, our gold bars, and our iron going into this one. And I was able to turn a lot of the iron into blocks because it has been building up while we have been over at our farm working on it. So here we go. Now I'm going to cover all of this up so it's not going to look quite so hideous. It is unfortunately going to make this room look a lot smaller, which is going to look a little strange because from the outside you can tell this is a very large building but we have plenty of room in here now for our storage and i've got it set up so that way we can actually have it overflow into this room as we need more room for more storage perhaps some smaller storage because this one can't reach quite as high but this uh this is looking good i like it we have lots of room for expansion any other farms that we could possibly need and for the farms that we do currently have lots of storage lots and lots and lots of space so this can now fill up all the way
way up there. Each of these are double chests. So thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of items. I love it. But unfortunately, guys, that is all the time that we have for today. Another successful day. A new farm added on to our now starting to thrive city. Still some work to do. Perhaps we will get a little bit more building and maybe some of the decorative work done in our next episode. Or maybe we might be doing that on our next live stream. So if you haven't, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the videos yet to come or any of the live streams. But if you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like on the video. Hit subscribe so you don't miss out on anything more. And share the video with somebody else so that they don't miss out either. And until next time, guys, peace and love, everybody. Bye-bye.